All right, so why is Pyro Malsatania an S tier gold card? And it's simple, even at Fusion Zero, level one, as we are currently seeing Maitania is Fusion Zero level one, she can absolutely elevate your account to unknown heights. Mainly, actually not mainly, but 100% thanks to her passive. Look at this. Surging by special attack tool, blah, blah, blah. This is not really that effect, uh, not really that important. The devil does is not that important. The most important thing is martial artists and outward teammates, combo enders become fire attacks and apply fire dots, stacking up to two times an opponent affected by devil does. But even if it doesn't stack, it's perfectly, perfectly awesome. So every single combo ender by martial artist or an outward character in Tanya's team is going to apply fire dot. And which is the best character for fire? Of course, MK11 Scorpion. So we're going to take this team for a spin in Link Wei Tower Battle 161 so that you can see how overpowered it is. My MK11 Scorpion is Fusion Zero, uh, Fusion 1, I'm sorry. I won't be using any Link Wei Tower equipment on him. And you can see how absolutely busted he is uh, with Tanya in a team. Now look at this, already two fires. I'm going to the combo ender applying another fire. It's actually two fires because this was the fire combo ender Scorpion. Look at this, he's burning like crazy. <laughs> He's burning like crazy, and I just want to let you know also that this team doesn't have a Ravenous Melina. So if I had a Ravenous Melina, it would be even better. It would be absolutely busted. So far, it's busted enough, to be honest. Okay. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Okay, Breaker Block. Thank you very much, Scorpion. Now, do this. Thank you. Now, Breaker Block again. Another fire, please, Scorpion. Yes! Stack the fires, boys. Stack the fires. Another two fires from this girl. And basically, this is how we defeat every single tower stage that uh, has characters that are not immune to dots. This is this is how we beat it. It's so easy. You don't require anything. You just need MK11 Scorpion, who is by far one of the easiest diamonds to obtain, and he can be any fusion. Any fusion will do. Uh, fusion zero, fusion one, fusion two, any fusion you have, and of course, Pyroman Satania level one, fusion zero. This is how strong this thing is. You don't need to do anything else. Just combo enders. Just combo enders. MK11 Scorpion is such a great fighter, and remember, on top of everything, he can stack the fires. <laughs> so it is absolutely busted. So I'm going to do another special uh, one. He's um, crippled. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do combo enders in that corner, and then I will do another special one, and he goes down. This is how you defeat. Which was the battle? 161 from Linkway Tower, but it uh, works for every single tower. Like every single fight. Uh, where characters cannot heal from fire or any dots or characters where basically they cannot um, regenerate or let's say let's say that they're not immune to dots this is why this girl is incredible it takes the easiest diamond to obtain in the game in caliber scorpion and this girl at level one in order to destroy everybody now interesting though i want to test this fight because i want to know whether the fire works after tanya dies However, I don't really... Okay, I'm going to sacrifice her in the end, because in the beginning, Scorpion is going to save her. So I want to sacrifice her once I kill two of those guys. And then I want to check whether when she dies, Scorpion will keep getting fires on every single combo ender. That's pretty cool. Alright. So, uh, okay. Alright, Scorpion is going to save her immediately. Good, good, good. Now Scorpion is going to buy himself some time. Oh my god, this Scorpion also has fire on combo and unfortunately uh, this Scorpion fire won't stack. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Anyways, it is what it is. I'm going to attack the other Scorpion, setting the entire enemy team on fire. And from this point on, uh, enemy Lucane is kind of um, destroyed. <laughs> he's burning, look at him, he's burning. By the way, uh, of course the fires will work much better, guys, if you have Ravenous Melina. If you don't have Ravenous Melina, then you can use Scorpion. But even if you have Ravenous Melina, Okay, this guy is dead. I'm going to use Tanya just to, uh, to sacrifice. Alright, good. I want to see now whether this thing works. It works even when she's dead. That's beautiful. <laughs> that is absolutely gorgeous. It still works after you defeat her. After they defeat her, of course. You cannot defeat her because she's on your team, of course. Of course. <laughs> it is so busted. Guys, she's such a great character. Quite frankly, the moment I read the description of her passive, I thought it only works if the uh, if the enemy has um, the Devil Dust applied on them. But this is not the case. It works regardless of the fact whether they have Devil Dust or not. It is totally busted. It is really, really great. It is <laughs> totally gorgeous. And I'm actually loving the fact that I got this girl from a compensation. That was incredible. Thank you very much, NetherRealm Studios. Actually, I shouldn't thank them. Actually, I should partially thank them. 
whoever is pulling the strings in the back. All right, so we already established that we can do uh, amazing stuff with MK11 Scorpion. Now let's see what Classic Rain can do together with Pyromancer Tanya, because remember Classic Rain is outward and Martial Artist, so Tanya will also work on him. And why do I want to check with Classic Rain? Uh, it is simple because Classic Rain can do team leads, Classic Rain can do a lot of team stuff, uh, and having Tanya will make sure that on combo enders he's going to apply fire to the entire enemy team. All he has to do is to uh, team soak. Not team soak, but just to soak one of um, the enemy. Okay, this is what I'm going to do right at the bat. I'm going to do this. Bam. Bam, then I'm going to do this. Yeah, she is soaked. Okay, uh, combo ender now. All right, fire. Team burning, good, team bleed. Team burning and team bleed, right off the bat. It's beautiful, it's absolutely gorgeous. Unfortunately, I don't seem to have uh, combo enders. Yeah, I don't think I have combo enders in my... Uh... Anyways, doesn't matter, I'm going to restart the fire. Beautiful, uh, beautiful, okay. Okay, I, I don't think I don't think I have combo uh, block breakers with this uh, range, so that's unfortunate. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It's okay though. I will know. Uh, so I will know for the future. Okay, bam, bam, bam. I'm gonna kill this uh, running kitana. Okay. Am I going to get enough? Unfortunately, I'm not. But still, uh, I am applying the burning effect on her. Okay. Okay, she should die now. Okay, come on, this is ridiculous. Okay. That was perfect. <laughs> oh my god, that was so good. I, even I liked it. That's beautiful. Bam. Okay, bam, bam, bam. I wanna do. Okay, beautiful. I'm going to do another of this. Bam. Yeah, I don't have block breaker rain. Right? That's unfortunate. If I had block breaker, uh, it would be much better. But I, I simply didn't uh, expect to uh, play this team uh, today. I just decided, you know what? I'm going to do a video why uh, why Atani is so good character. So if I, of course, if I want to do a lot of combo enders with rain, I will give him gear for um, I'll give him gear for the thing. You know, for combo uh, for combo enders. Why well, I keep saying combo enders? I mean to say. Oh, are you kidding me? Right now, he survived. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, she's going to block it. Who cares? You're going to bleed now. You're going to bleed. Unfortunately, you cannot. Okay, I'm going to do fire with this girl, even though it will last half a second. Yeah, exactly. As I expected. Anyways, I'm going to finish him off with special attacks. I was trying to say that Classic Rain can work pretty nice without Block Breaker. However, if you want to use a Tanya, obviously you want to have Block Breakers because you can break their blocks and do combo enders. But I didn't change his equipment since the last time I played him. So that at the end of the day, I don't have any combo... Uh, <laughs> I don't have any Block Breaker gear on Classic Rain. So, anyways, another character that you can use, and I'm going... To, I cannot showcase that. That's bad. Of course, I'm going to showcase with Fire God Lucane. Fargot Lucane is another character that will strongly benefit from uh, Tanya. Unfortunately, if he's a low fusion, it he won't be that effective compared to MK11 Scorpion Classic Rain. But still, you should know that he's another guy that can be very, very useful with Tanya. See you in a second. We will be using the same team. However, this time, Fargot Lucane, he is uh, fusion zero, and I gave him some equipment. I gave him some tower equipment because I'm not really a good player with Fargot Lucane. I, I admit that. I, I, I can play... MK11 Scorpion, I can play Classic Rain, but I, I don't really have a lot of experience with Fire God Lucane, so I'm probably going to lose this one, but at least I'm going to showcase uh, that Tanya can support him really, really well. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tag him right off the bat and hope that I will be able to defeat the stage using him. Uh, I will rely mainly on dots, as you can imagine. Okay, bam, good. Okay, okay, okay I'm going to do this. I shouldn't have done that. I have no idea why I did it. It's okay. Why well, I cannot break her block? Come on. Okay, at least... Okay, at least I survived though. For some weird reason I couldn't break her block. Okay. Okay, special 2. Bam, heal. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to do a special 1. Please, to either waste your uh, stability on me. No, 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 I wanted him to... It's going to be rough. I, I really, I'm not really a good Fire God Lucane player, I admit that. I just recently maxed him out. So, okay, anyways, I will try to do the best I can with him, which is not a lot. <laughs> um, yeah. Dragon Fire. Bam! No, don't block! Okay, at least I'm. Okay, that's beautiful. Okay. Okay. 
I just suck with fire go to the game, this is the truth. <laughs> Still, you're seeing how he gets fire all the time, and he can get to 7 stack pretty easy, right? Okay. I will return back with him right now, so I can set this good. Oh my god, I'm, I, I forgot I'm crippled. That's so bad. Okay, I wanna do this. She's going to block, right? Okay. Fire. Bicycle kick. Tanya. Oh, that's so long. Special one. Tanya doesn't have any equipment, and why should she? <laughs> Seriously. Okay. Kill her. I might, I might actually win this one. Uh, it all depends on whether my Scorpion can break their blocks, which currently he's failing. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do Combo Ender, so that I can set him on fire. Okay, then I'm going to do this. Unfortunately, now I don't have any power. But at least... Whew, that was pretty nasty. Not good. Like, how? How? What happened? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I died here. Quite frankly, somehow uh, I need to learn his combos better because yeah, I'm doing something wrong, objectively wrong. Okay, but I managed to beat the stage. Just good. Just good. She's not going to do. She's not going anywhere. She dies. All right, guys. So Fargo to Kane Fusion Zero. Pretty decent if you know how to play him, which I don't. <laughs> but still, um, yeah, he can be useful with Tanya. If you don't, if you for some really weird reason have Fargo to Kane and Tanya, low fusion and you don't have MK11 Scorpion, Classic Rain or any other really awesome character fusion zero, you can use Fargo to Kane, he also has dots and he can be useful. So basically, I believe now you understand why Tanya is so good, she can also work with the Joker, that's pretty cool because he can uh, basically keep the enemies in a stun loop and doing combo enders from here and there so that he can uh, also set them on fire, uh, so it's pretty cool, yeah. You can use her in so many ways. She can elevate your account to unknown heights. And on top of everything, remember that dot is percent based. So even if the enemies have 1 million health and they're not immune to dots, they're going to suffer, they're going to die. This is why characters with dots are so, so useful at Fusion Zero. All right, guys, so this is going to be all for me today. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more, and see you next time. Take care. Perfect.